are we on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in. Ready to rock? Yeah, ready to rock. Now, uh... Tracy. Welcome, Tracy. Um, first of all, look. Welcome to Five Furnace, where is Tracy? Thank you. First of all, uh, I'd like to thank you, uh... Oh, here you are. <laughs> I would first like to thank you um, for taking the time and to, just to talk to me right now. I um, yeah, really good. appreciate it, eh? You know? good. Now look, let's just smash it out, eh? Um, first of all, can you tell us something a little bit about yourself? Um, yep, yeah, sure. So, I'm fairly new to uh, Sodexo and Hope Downs 1. Yep. Uh, I've been with Sodexo uh, since... Ooh, do you know Since about March this year. Okay. Um, I started off casual, moved around a few sites as a wellness advisor, so I'm yep. a wellness advisor um, here on site. Mm -hmm. Moved around a few different sites initially, and then have just been made uh, in the permanent position here, which wow. is cool. Awesome. Um, prior to that, I was personal training uh, in Perth for about uh -huh. three years. Yep. And then before that, I was uh, working for a different uh, mining company doing like housekeeping, admin supervising, a whole bunch of different stuff. So sort of been in and out of um, FIFO life here and there. Um, yeah. yeah, but back in this role now as wellness advisor and um, yeah, loving it. Loving, awesome. loving what, awesome. Yeah, How long have you been in the game? Um, like all up in yeah. FIFO? Oh, probably, probably about three, four years. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did it for, yeah, about three and a half years prior to, um, Leaving and mm -hmm. then PT for three years and then now just this year come back into it. So okay. I put it all together and found this role. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. tell us PT. We'll try and tackle that just quickly. Personal what trainer. qualifications do you need? Uh, so cert three and four in personal training. Mm -hmm. um, back in New Zealand, I was studying um, physical education teaching as well. Got a bit of a deferral and moved over here. Did the did the we could make some money thing, you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah, <laughs> come yeah. over. Um, and then just ongoing sort of courses and self um, self learning and self improvement with that and learn, mm -hmm. learn along the way. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Basic nice. course to start with, but um, yeah. And as you go through the game, you've got to always um, upskill and yep. do different courses like that. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. My background's more so in um, strength and conditioning training. Okay. Um, that was my focus as a personal trainer back in back back in Perth. Yep. Working with a lot of like young women, older women, um, getting strong, getting confident in the gym, um, and then yeah, and then it sort of just transpired and transitioned into coming back and doing this. Yeah. What made you do PT? Um, initially, well, back when I was younger, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I was like an overweight kid. Yep. And I remember it was my sixth or seventh form ball. I was like, man. I don't want to be, I don't want to be, I want to fit and I want to look cool, I want to look, you know, good in a dress, so mm -hmm. that's when I first um, walked myself into a gym and I joined, like, it was like pump classes and attack classes first, yep. and I just got hooked and like started feeling good, stopped eating, you know, crap as a teenager, mm -hmm. going away for it, like with my friends to takeaways, I started getting in the gym, learning about nutrition, and yep. um, yeah, and just loved it, got hooked on it. And the way that it made me feel, I was like, man, I want, I want people to feel that confidence and that, um, the way that kick that the gym gave me, you know. So, yeah, yeah I'd always, so I thought after school, I was like, oh, maybe I'll do PE teaching because that would be, that I could still work with younger, younger kids. And but then it just kind of, yeah, rolled into, turned into this and yeah. always yeah. been, yeah, interested in the, like training for myself and I wanted people to feel that same, yeah, that same high and kick that I got out of training in the gym so yeah so roughly you've been doing it for at least what five, yeah ten years then. yeah well i'm i'm 29 yeah. now so yeah that was when i was back when i was like 17 so uh -huh. learning along the way for yeah. what works for me and um and then yeah and then helping more so the other fact of helping helping others to feel that same that same kick that exactly. i got out of it yeah that's the, main, the main reason it's all recorded let's double checking yeah all this technical stuff. See? <laughs> no, 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 don't you see? <laughs> I told you. Cool. Because I can always edit it, you know? Yeah. Now, uh, let's get back into it. Uh, now, FIFO, where did, where, did, where did it all actually, how did you actually get into the game? Um, 
How did I do it? I was living in Broome at the time when I first moved over from New Zealand. Mm -hmm. I, my partner at that time um, was working on a road sailing crew, so I started working with them on, as a roller driver on a bitumen sailing crew. And um, we used to move all around Western Australia with that. And I got to see, we were in and out of sort of mine sites. And there was actually, I went to, um, it was Roy Hill. I okay. went to, and um, we were doing their roads through there. And there was a, they had a wellness advisor there. And she was on like a two, two weeks on, two weeks off roster. And I got chatting to her about her job, because obviously we were in the gym after work and that. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, that's that's the dream. Like, you've got the job, you know? Like, what did you need to, to get into this? Like, how did you get into it? And um, she she told me her qualification. She was more nutritionist and that. And then ever since then, uh, the, the whole, that, that this role sort of interests me but um and then it was just through speaking with the guys that I worked with they knew um someone that had worked well worked for a company called Morris at the time so I just emailed him and was like hey like what's what's what do I need to do to kind of get myself into this role he mentioned to me there was no HLC jobs they called it at the time yeah. but he said we've got um like housekeeping jobs if you're interested in a two-in-one roster and I was like oh yeah, okay, well, I'll be keen to come and give that a go. And and then yeah. my partner at that time um, was changing jobs as well to, to FIFA. Okay. So I was like, well, let's get on the same roster, try mm -hmm. and match that up. And, and then, yeah, housekeeping came up, and I was like, yeah, man, let's, let's do it. So um, it was, yeah, just a few emails, a couple interviews, and then, boom, they, I was sort of in, in, in there. Yeah. Yeah, it all happened pretty quickly. Moved to Perth, and then, yeah, a out, out, couple of weeks later, onto site, and... Where we went. So with the with the bitumen sealing job, we were, I kind of had an insight to site life, mm -hmm. um, and then yeah, that that one conversation I had with that chick, I think her name was Nicole, I think. And ever since then, I was like, man, that's that's what I want to do. So when was this? Uh, that was back in like two thousand and what are we now? That was like six seven years ago. Oh well, wow. so you've been in the game, yeah. For yeah, that was a while, while ago. Um, yeah. Yeah, seven years ago maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then I sat in the housekeeping role, and then from there, I tried to I cross credited some um, some of my papers that I got from uni, mm -hmm. and then had to do as it was redo my calls for PT anyway. So I just did the study online on the side, and yeah, um, well tried to you know got it done over a couple couple years, and then went back to Perth. Did the did the full integration yeah. of personal training and that's good you yeah. say that too because you you, you you took the opportunity not with one hand with both hands you know what I yeah mean? And you just took it yeah yeah, yeah so on. there was I had the job and then yeah just that was always the goal was to get that that yeah. type of role so I just kind of slowly chipped away at what I needed to do to sort of yeah. come come into this so and the yeah. progression how, yeah, how, yeah. How, how how did that how did um, that um, go. Was it hard or? Yeah, it was hard. Or, yeah, like, it was. It was hard. Um, I probably took on too much because mm -hmm. you got your twelve-hour days of doing um, house, like you know, yep. like, like housekeeping at the time. I did that and then moved into the supervisor role. So there was work was demanding, and then I thought, yes, yeah, sweet as I'll go home and, and do my online study, which worked for a, what, a little while, but yep. you know, then it just slowly went on the back burner, and I was like, no, you know, like. So that was, I started becoming in two sort of minds about what I was doing and then where I wanted to be. So that's eventually why I I left yep. um, the minds to go and pursue that wholeheartedly because I knew that's where I wanted to, to dive or the direction of my career to kind of go in. And, um, yeah. Good on you. Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> Ramble, but yeah, you know. Yeah, no, it's awesome, awesome. And, yeah. um, look, let's get back onto our hope downs. Mm -hmm. Hope yep. downs now. Um, what kind of swing do you do you do here? So I do two and one. Uh -huh. Yeah, two weeks on, one week off. Yeah. Is that night shift, day shift? Uh, permanent days for us. Yeah. So okay. the the catering side, so Sidex, so we're fully just in the village. Um, yeah. So we we only do day shift here. Where everyone only does day shift. And how's that good for you? Yeah, good. Yeah, it's split shift my job, so mm -hmm. I have a um, like six till twelve in the morning. And from 12 to 3 p.m. have a big break mm -hmm. and then 3 to 8 back into work so that we can cover like if you guys that are at work and then come back and yeah. come into the gym yeah what's involved in it 
in my job. Yeah. What's your day to day? You're so like, um, you morning. So we run. We pretty much here look after the gym. Mm -hmm. So um, all the gym inductions, all the inducting everyone to come in and be able to use the facility. Personal training, group classes. Um, there's a massive thing in the morning and the evenings with the residents when they come back. Okay. And then during the day, cleaning the place up, making sure it's all right for everyone. Um, and then we also organise all the social activities that happen on site too. So, mm -hmm. um, like this month, we've got like music bingos and things happening. So we um, put that together for approval for the managers to to conduct up throughout the months and things. So we get like monthly um, health and wellness um, topics yep. that we have to roll out and present and from that we, we put together like social social events as well as um, yeah look after the gym. So it's yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, nice. It's, um, it's a yeah. pretty cool, well-rounded, there's a lot, lot, lot of um, different, you know, categories yeah. of the job. So Absolutely. Yeah, it's cool. No, it's, it's good. good, good, good. Now, um, no, look, look, this, since you're saying that, um, let's tackle the biggest subject, eh? Yeah. Mental health, what do you yeah. think about it? Um, I don't know, well, this month we've got, it's Are You Okay Month, so mm -hmm. it's a really um, in-your-face kind of month for promotion around suicide prevention and suicide awareness yep. within site. Um, the morale, it's a big part of our job is to, to uplift and keep that social interaction and morale around site. Here at Hope Dance One, um, it's it's pretty it's pretty awesome. Like everyone, mm -hmm. yeah, everyone's um, pretty social, pretty interactive. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, you can see how um, the the you, there is still a distinctive um, different cultures around like work to the pub or people that work and come in here and try and you know it's oh, how do I say it it's um yeah there's I don't know it's a touchy one eh? like yeah. what about your personal have you seen any like you know it's because obviously mental health is massive yeah massive yeah. and um I really wanted it to relate to in regards to um just personal decisions as well you know yeah um is yeah there, probably you have any ex examples or um, for myself, yeah. um, probably for myself, a big reason why I did leave initially was because I was burnt out, mm -hmm. um, and I think that that's a a thing that over the years has become a massive issue is the the long hours, the away from home, um, the the work to rest like our yeah. and our time hasn't been hasn't really been taken into consideration, you know, um, equal equal away time to being at home and I think that's improved a lot but um yeah big big one for me was why I left was because yeah I just had been burnt out um in the role that I was in previously there was so much demand um you do your job but then you go above and beyond and you know 12 hour days turned into 14 15 hour days and uh, but yeah for me I was yeah I was burnt out so I was like nah, nah I have to have to remove myself get back to what I wanted to do and um, and uh, that's, so that's what I did. I, I think I I, I recognised the, the way that I was going. Like you'd wake up in the morning and be like, oh, I don't want to go to work today, you know? Like it was, yeah. I got to that point, which to me was like, nah, okay, you gotta, you got to change that and um, pull yourself out of the situation. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, I think not enough people might, maybe don't do that. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I just didn't do enough um, of my own personal yep. research into that, but I don't know if that was big. like they always said there was like you know the um, Help out there and stuff health helplines and um, yep. EAP and all of that kind of thing. But mm -hmm. um, in your face assistance just sort of maybe wasn't wasn't quite there. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But. Um, but yeah, definitely get help. In regards to everything, yeah, you do, especially here, because yeah, I personally know for myself, you know, it's a, physically it's demanding, yeah. mentally it's demanding, yeah, 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 it's not healthy, yeah, you know, yeah. I reckon for myself, yeah, first of all, you got to tackle and keeping yourself healthy, you yeah, know? yeah, hundred percent, and that's that's a big thing. If you're not, mm -hmm. if you're not, especially yeah, if you're not happy in what you're doing and healthy and in yourself, then you, how do you expect to, then you know, 
portray that onto someone else or go out and do the best job that you can at work every day and they all come home to your family after a swing and, and be you know the best you can for them as well so yeah. um but yeah i think in this role um yeah being able to act as that that sort of person like a lot of people come in here even just when they're doing their induction sit down have a chat and then you you start to kind of um you get to meet people on a bit more of a personal level like well they're at home when they come come in here you know like <laughs> i'm still at work but for them this is their downtime you know um so that's kind of our role too we sort of act as just a bit of a soundboard for people yeah um and i i always offer myself to people especially our staff in sadiq so as well um if they need someone neutral to come and talk to or anyone like that come into my office it's always open you know so um, and it's for free and it's free exactly <laughs> yeah and sometimes people just need to need to have a have a vent or a chat or um just something different um, yeah. and they're okay you know so oh, awesome. yeah it's awesome. yeah it's a, it's a learning curve on um yeah understanding um mental health yeah. mental health yeah it's it's yeah it's it's massive and um yeah it's 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 a it's a cut <laughs> yeah it's it's been a process learning about that um in this role and and how we can help um change change the um social structure of of um residents you know lifestyle here on site so yeah that's um that's been something that's been been wicked to to try and incorporate like even just at the moment we don't have any social sports happening so even just trying to get some social sports going you know i've seen that can massively improve you know people's engagement and and um on-site happiness and just having something different to do and engage with others and do something normal yeah. <laughs> you know? do, you any, do you have any advice just just try and tackle it for, from a small p perspective or um, you know, just stay positive yeah yeah i'd say exactly that stay positive um and then if you're feeling like you need to talk to someone do as soon as as soon as you as you need to and um always think about the the bigger picture as to why you're here and um whether it be for your family or or um you know any goals set some goals and and, and crush them don't get caught up in that every day slog or you know, everyday hustle mm. um yeah yeah awesome do you have, have any personal goals that you would like to share um personal goals um no i think at the moment just um save save some money mm -hmm. <laughs> um save up for you know some investment properties and things mm -hmm. like that but um in terms of and then keep learning so I want to get Great some one. more um, like nutrition qualifications under my belt too. So keep keep my um, yeah self yeah. self learning happening. So yeah, it's great you said that because um, people take it for granted the actual certificate itself. You know. Yeah, exactly. Tell us something a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Like, Can there's you... I know there's a lot of people that I actually did my course with. They were fresh out of school and were like, oh, I'm just gonna do this because because it's something to have under my belt. But mm -hmm. um, they don't realize that after that that like anyone can get a piece of paper anyone can do that and be like oh i'm a personal trainer now you know but it's then what you go from there so i got myself a couple mentors um and worked under them i worked for free for like six months which was you know like because i just wanted to learn as much as i could but you've still got to forever the industry keeps changing you've got to forever upskill and and read and learn and um yeah stay on stay on the ball in that way so yeah. Great advice. Great yeah. Advice. Keep, now, learning. Advice, keep learning. <laughs> now, what advice? <laughs> what advice would you give to a new starter starting in FIFA? Um, um, take it one day at a time. Don't be overwhelmed. Um, or it's going to be overwhelming if you're new to FIFA life, as well as long days and long work. But um, just take it one day at a time. Um, if you need help ask for it don't be afraid to say you don't know something um and you yeah, get in the gym and meet and meet some more people meet us yeah. um, but stay positive yeah because it, it gets easier well it 
you know it's all like starting anything new it gets easier mm. but um yeah always reach out if you need if you need someone or need need a hand i'd, I'd say that's yeah. a great one um, yeah yeah one day at a time <laughs> yeah. yeah networking you just say that networking um it's, it is really um yeah that's way, exactly you know, because, yeah um, I don't know if you do, but you tend to go everywhere and then I see the same people. Yeah. I guess, and, yeah. Um, and one thing about that, I reckon the main key is communication. What do you think about communication? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, yeah, talk to as many people. Don't be afraid to go up and introduce yourself to, to people or um, say if there's something, yeah, like something going on at music bingo and you don't know anyone that's going up to play. So go up and play and, and um, sit at a table with. with you know, you might only know one person at the table, sit at the table and introduce them and um, yeah, because once you do it once, it's it's never it's never that scary again, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, always communicate, always meet new people and say hi to everyone that you walk past <laughs> um, because yeah, it might, you know, put a smile at everyone that you walk past because yeah. that can make your, make you feel better but also might, might do something for them as well so yeah yep smile no, really and say hi and yeah it can be daunting yeah. walking into a room of people that you don't know or a, or a new situation but um everyone sort of has been in the same boat everyone's been through that so yeah keep your head high and just own it yeah now just off the topic what's the biggest successful achievement you've accomplished um biggest successful achievement that i've accomplished um, I'd probably say doing a, it sounds, um, sounds vain as, but, um, I did a bodybuilding competition a couple of years ago mm -hmm. and that for me was massive because, um, I've always, I've never seen myself on a stage in front of people in high heels for that matter of fact, but, um, that was a massive journey for me and a massive success that I've completed it um, just to go through the notions of changing your body so drastically understanding the process um, for myself and for my clients and um, and then yeah actually getting up there and, and rocking a bikini and a blimmin heels on stage <laughs> um, so I'd say most recently that would probably be my biggest success um, in terms of um, yeah, self development and um, putting myself outside of my comfort zone for, yeah. for real yeah that was that was wicked awesome. um yeah it's, any yeah. regrets in, in, in life or, or um, just in, in the industry um don't leave uni <laughs> <laughs> finish your degree yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um even though like like i say that i probably wouldn't or actually don't feel pressured I, I I felt um I went straight out of school into uni thinking that that's that's the what I wanted to do but maybe um taking a year off to just to just enjoy adult life you yeah. know become into it and then decide from there like I'm still trying to weave my path um well I'm here now like this is pretty much my dream dream job but um yeah, don't don't be in a rush to or too much in a rush to get a qualification and get into work. Whereas, um, yeah, probably should have done like sport and rec or um, exercise, sports science or something, which I still mm -hmm. want to do, still can do. Yep. But um, yeah, don't leave uni <laughs> or no one, no, you know, take a year off and um, and and fully know or fully have a yeah, fully know. Not does that make sense? Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. No, but not a regret, just a. Just you, just you know, your path's yeah. always going to change, but yeah, awesome. probably that. Yeah, yeah, it's good. <laughs> now, where do you see yourself in a year's time? Um, oh, one year's time. Hopefully, still here, but um, having yeah, being being in this role, um, there's a lot of things that I want to implement in this, like. Um, the social side, get a bit more um, interaction with Rio out, out on site. So hopefully mm -hmm. in a year, being a lot more um, across the board and in, in the amount of people that I can reach yeah. um, with my job. Uh, but yeah, this is this is where I sort of want to be for now. Yeah. Um, yeah. What about in five years' time? Um, five years' time, um, definitely. Uh, hopefully, want to be a mum by then. Yeah. <laughs> 
um, and me and my partner, yeah, have a house and things yeah. like that. But um, in terms of work, awesome. hopefully have yeah, some nutrition certs under my belt, have a bit more qualifications. Um, but yeah, in terms of my job, I, I really, I'm, I'm pretty much in the spot that I sort of want to want to be with a bit more um, of my own um, upskill, you know. So. Yep. Yeah, but or, or maybe I might not be here if I'm a mum, then I might be, I'll be at home. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, 10 years, ten years yeah. hopefully back in New Zealand. Yep. We're back home, um, kids growing up with their cousins. Awesome. And um, yeah, back home, maybe PT back in, back in New Zealand. Yep. I really want to work with, um, like, yeah, back, back home with our people and um, more community stuff. That. Not not necessarily in a gym, but yeah, work work more one on one with our people and um, group That's, fitness yeah. sort of thing. Um, yeah, whether it be I don't know where yet, I don't know where we'd settle back, but back home definitely. Yeah, because that's the way. With, with family, yeah, yeah. Back. yeah, exactly, yeah, hundred yeah. percent, yeah. Ah, good on you. So fingers yeah. crossed. Yeah, yeah, but nah, we'll be back there for sure. Awesome. Yeah. Now, do you have any positive quotes or uh, mottos you like to share? <gasps> Um, Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, oh, gee, I can't think of one off the top of my head. Um, no, I'd say just, I'm probably just making this up, I'd say oh. just um, start each day with um, always ask us or tell yourself, you know, at least five things that you're grateful for. Yep. Um, and then, yeah, say, say hi to everyone. <laughs> smile on your face. Start each day with a smile on your face. <laughs> yeah. Say um, that on the camera there. What are you just repeating? Um, so I would say making sure you wake up every morning and um, say at least five things that you're grateful for and um, start each day with a, with a smile on your face. <laughs> Look yeah. at that. How awesome is that? Eh? Oh, that's tough, man. No, it's good. It's good, though, you know, because people want to hear those kind of things because, as I said to you before, yeah. my nephew, eh, you know? Yeah, that's, that's good. Yeah, my nephew, that's eh? it's all those little questions. Why I say years' time? Because I'm going to ring you, you know? Yeah. Where are you in years' yeah, time? Where are you in five years' time? Where are you in ten? That's and cool. it's all these kind of things, you know? It's yeah. positive around the society. Uh, as I said to you before, I'll just quickly show you, you know? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Tracy. Thank oh, you. Tracy, Sorry, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> that was alright. Yeah, no, all good. Um, Sorry, yeah, once again, thank you for, um, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, um, and yeah, it's really nice to meet you. Know? I need to um, really follow your follow your cause and follow your journey. And, yeah. And you're doing good things, it's awesome. <laughs> it's really cool. It is. Yeah. Especially for the game, mate, eh? Yeah. Sorry it cut too short because uh, no, no. I just woke up, you know? No, 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 don't be sorry, sorry. I, <laughs> my, my answers were a bit... Nah, it's all good. Eh? So what do you think? If you think this was interesting to you, subscribe to the channel right now so you don't miss out on inspirational stories just like this. And also leave me a comment down below if there's anything you would like me to show you. For now, Take care and stay safe. Bye.